Today, I would like to talk to you about expanding uh, the space in your own heart for allowing God to do great things in and through your life. Um, we need to be doing that on our uh, corporate life, our, which means in, in our church or our business. We need to be doing that in our personal life, in our marriage, with our children, and even in our personal life. There's a passage I'm going to read to you, and I'll try to explain it a little bit more. In Isaiah 54, 2, it says, Enlarge your house build an addition, spread out your home, and spare no expense. We could take this passage and go all kinds of different places with it uh, as far as expansion, but where I'd like to go um, in, in thought and even more so in heart right now is, is that are you allowing God to do new things in and through your life? So many times uh, we get in that space where we get threatened uh, when something new you know, comes or, or someone new comes into the a space of maybe an area of ministry or an area in our workplace or, or possibly even when it comes down to um, maybe a teacher or a coach with your children, all kinds of different areas of where people have influence. And instead of being thankful for that space of influence and knowing that God can work through a different avenue and expanding um, the influence of who he is through your child's life or your marriage or whatever it is, we get threatened by it. Uh, and God wants us to have an enlarged space in our heart that he can do more in our, our walk. And scripture uh, talks about how we can grieve or we can quench or we can resist the Holy Spirit which is the exact opposite of what we're talking about here is there's this place where we can enlarge, invite God more in, and or we can just be resistant of it. I find so many times where people, even unknowingly, are so resistant to what the Lord wants to do. Let me give you for, uh, an example. Right now as a church, we're believing for, and, and I would pray that you would do this with us, for a children's pastor slash family pastor. Um, we recognize that um, we as a church, this is an area where we want to enlarge, we want to grow. Someone who would carry the vision and whatever we're doing, do it better or even possibly different, whatever it be, but we know that God has a specific person in mind so that he can enlarge his plan in our children's ministry. And yet that's gonna have an impact on those who are already serving there. Some might be find it exciting, some might feel it being threatened, whatever it is, it's gonna be some adjustments that we need to make um, in the ministry. And on a personal note, this person who's gonna carry a vision is going to draw for more people to serve in that vision or in that, that uh, kingdom of, of, of God toward our children. And I'm even asking you to pray about that because we're believing not just for a person to get hired, but even the ministry would grow through service, service towards children, service toward parenting, that we would have an expansion in our heart, realizing how important this is, because this is God's heart towards family. So I guess what I would like to do right now is pray because it's so important, this is where we start. Um, our hearts many times can be very resistant um, to change and very, uh, in fact, even the point where not just resistant, but closed off. And prayer is what opens those doors. So let's pray. Father, first of all, thank you for your word. Your word is always true. And many times our thoughts and our heart, Father, can be lead us to um, the wrong direction, to the place, spaces where they wouldn't be inviting you. And, we ask right now and we invite you into our hearts, into our children's ministry, into the space of having someone come on staff that would just help us be all that you want us to be. And on a personal God, Lord, for our marriages, our children, uh, Lord, for our workplace, whatever it might be, that we would have our hearts invite you into, that we would have an expanded thought. We would be allowing you to do what you do best, God, bring freshness, newness, uh, growth in and through our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.